What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to build a QR code generator in Python. So let us get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up a command line, a terminal, and we're going to say pip install QR code. This is the library we're going to need for today. And it's a very simple library. We're not going to build everything from scratch here. So once we have that, we're going to import it. We're going to say import QR code. And the most basic way to create a QR code with this library is to say image equals QR code dot make. And then we specify the data, for example, hello world. This is neural nine like that. And then the only thing that we need to do is we need to say image dot safe and a file name, for example, my code dot PNG like that. And when we now run this here, let me just right click run main. Uh, we have a new PNG file here. You can scan it with your phone if you want. I'm going to do this now with my phone. So I'm going to open up the QR reader and I'm going to scan this code here. And you can see, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it says, hello world, this is neural nine. And you can check this out on your own phone. Now, sometimes you're going to want to have a little bit more of those customization options. And in this case, you can create a QR code object by saying QR equals QR code dot QR code. And then here you can specify a bunch of parameters that you can see up here. And for example, we can say version equals one, we can say error correction equals uh, QR code dot constants dot error correct L. Now don't ask me what exactly this thing is doing here. Uh, because I got this from the official pip page of the package. So I don't know what this exactly is doing. Um, but then we can also specify some stuff like the box size. And let's go with 20. For now, we're going to tweak those parameters a bit. And let's say border equals two, for example. Now, after that, after we have that object, we can add some data. So we can say QR dot add data. And this is the actual data of the QR code. So in this case, we're going to use HTTPS, and then neural nine dot com slash books because oftentimes you use QR codes to get people to your website. And in this case, we're advertising the books here. And then we can say QR dot make and optionally you can say fit equals true, but I think that's actually the default. Let's specify it anyways here. Um, and after that, we say image equals QR dot make image. And here we can specify a bunch of more parameters, for example, the fill color. And we're going to leave this black for now even though that's the default, we're going to set it to black. And then we also have the back color and we're going to leave that white for now. And after that, we say image dot safe advanced dot PNG, for example. And when we now run this here, we're going to end up with this QR code. And I mean, I can go ahead again and scan this with my phone. And we're going to obviously get the link here. Again, I don't know if you're able to see this, but essentially you get the URL. And now what we can do is we can tweak those parameters a bit. So let's say box size is 50, for example, let's see what changes. I'm not even sure to be honest. Um, I mean, I think just that the whole thing is just uh, larger. I think what you really are going to notice is the border. If we say border equals 10, we should see, yeah, you can see the difference here. Uh, you can also say border equals zero, I think, or Maybe not, who knows? Yeah, you can see this is also QR code without a border, or you can say border equals one. Um, but what we can also do is we can change the colors. So we can say, for example, the QR code shall be red on a blue background. I'm, I'm sure that's going to, to look horrible. Yeah, uh, but it's still a QR code. I'm not even sure if my phone is going to detect this as a QR code, but actually I think it should be able no, actually, it's not detecting this as a QR code. But I think it, if it was red on white, it would be able to detect it. So let's see if that's the case. Um, this should not be too hard. Yeah, this works. But I think if you mix the colors too much, so if you have something like yellow on, I'm, I'm not sure if yellow on white would work because I think it's too light. I think my phone is not going to recognize this. Let's see. It's not recognizing that. I think it's a matter of contrast. So if you probably go ahead and do something like, 
I don't know, orange on, uh, orange on black is definitely going to work, I think. But I don't think that you can do this with all the combinations. Yeah, in this case, it works. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at how to create vector graphics uh, QR codes. So resizable QR codes that are composed of vector graphics instead of pixels, so SVG files. And for this, we're going to import QR code dot image dot SVG. And then we're going to say factory <clears throat> equals QR code dot image dot SVG dot SVG path image. I mean, we have also fill image, fragment image and so on. Again, don't ask me for the exact differences, but we're going to choose SVG path image here. This is the factory. And then we're going to say SVG image is going to be QR code dot make. And we're going to say the data in here is hello world, for example. And after this, we have to specify an image factory. So we're going to say image factory equals the factory that we just created. And then in the end, we just say SVG image dot safe. Uh, my QR dot SVG. So this is the vector graphics file. And if I now run this here, we're going to see that we get an SVG file, but we're not going to be able to open it here. So we're going to say, open an explorer. And then in here, we have this SVG file, and we're going to open it up with the brave browser. And you can see that we have this SVG vector graphics QR code file, which is sometimes useful if you want to have a dynamic size and you don't want to be bound to a certain resolution. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. And of course, check out the social links in the description. Check out my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon if you're interested. And uh, make sure you stay in touch with the content here. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 